Hey, everybody. It's Chris Griffith down in Bonita Springs, Florida, local real estate agent. Just wanted to share with you a little conversation I had with someone, um, actually via email. I'd written a post about um, a terrible closing experience of, I had. I was actually the listing agent of a property, um, and the buyers chose to use um, Chase Bank. And I know it's easy to take pot shots at Chase and Bank of America and all these other, you know, monster banks, but it was a really bad experience. Uh, people, we ended up uh, three closing extensions, all because uh, of things that happened at the bank and their lack of communication and um, underwriting issues, et cetera. So, um, a mortgage, or excuse me, a, a banker, <clears throat> a president and CEO of a bank actually read the post and just uh, basically said, she read with interest, the scathing article against bankers, it appears you have a great deal of pent-up anger, and it's not anger, it's frustration. Um, <laughs> and this was basically a story of my experience. It was my experience and my seller's experience and these buyer's experience, buyers that wanted nothing more than to be into a home, sellers that wanted nothing more than to sell a home that their father um, had left or be, bequest to them uh, after his passing. And um, and it just basically was the story that I wrote that said, um, you know, usually agents have proven, reputable local lenders that they know close real estate. They're, you know, they know their success rate. And I have some of those too. I mean, it doesn't get into the process if they're not eligible. That's all there is to it. Um, and we close them. There's open communication. There's no doubt in my mind what's happening every step of the way. However, when you're with a behemoth bank, you don't get that. So with this particular transaction, it was just an absolute nightmare. And it was a communication communication issue, it, plain and simple. So, you know, I, I'm sorry that this woman has her feelings hurt, that she feels that I am attacking banks because I don't understand regulation. I understand regulations up and down the wall, and they are needed. And they're appreciated because they were called for, and it's important. But the fact that things are regulated, and you can talk to five different people at the same bank, and nobody knows where the package is or its possibility of coming out in a day, and that every single one of those people in their email signature has something that, to the effect that says, if you're not happy with my service, my 100% uh, satisfaction, or you're not 100% satisfied with my results, call my manager. You can call a manager in one hand and crap in the other and see which one gets full of results sooner. It, they're, they have no communication, and it was just an abysmal failure. It just, you, you know, I, I, I could never recommend with any sort of, even, I couldn't even lie to somebody that way. It's just such a, it's a betrayal to a consumer for me to say, you know, you really need to call that particular bank or this particular bank when I know that they can get one-on-one -on -one customer service, especially if they have, you know, an unusual uh, line of work and a, a strange way to document their income. So, Mrs. Banker, I'm very sorry that your feelings were hurt. But you have the same opportunity that me and any other great blogging real estate agent has out there. You can get a WordPress blog and you can share up and down the wall all your experiences and explain what you do to be a cut above all those other mortgage lenders out there so that people really do feel trust and find it in you. Um, but right now, you know, the average real estate agent, agent wouldn't <laughs> trust Chase as far as they could throw them or Bank of America because we've all been on the short end of that stick a hostage to underwriting, um, you know, lack of communication, nobody returning phone calls. And I can tell you on that last transaction, the actual loan officer threatened to destroy everybody's reputation on Facebook and um, on the Internet if anyone was to ever say anything about it. So here I am saying something about it. I guess my good reputation is over. So have a great day. Look forward to seeing a link to your blog post so I can understand what you're doing to better the system and, you know, make your bank stand out a whole bunch different than uh, Chase or Bank of America. We don't want to paint anything with a broad brush, you know.